Hey y'all, welcome back to Rated RPG, your number one channel for gaming news and commentary. I'm Ray, we got an interesting one to talk about today. I often talk about my belief in the power of journalism and how journalism needs to remain objective and on point. I recently trashed Kotaku for having a big spread about Bernie Sanders, and that was because I believe know your audience and don't reflect your personal politics in your writing. And I don't think it was appropriate for Kotaku, which is supposedly a video game outlet, to be doing political spreads in support of any one candidate when that's not what their target audience is looking for. Uh, in this case, we have another instance of a website that I basically consider a rag doing something for clicks. Nowadays, all companies care about is the clicks because that's the only way they generate revenue. Gotta get the clicks, gotta get the clicks. Need hate clicks, need love clicks, need controversy clicks. Controversy clicks and hate clicks are much easier to get than actual genuine interest clicks because, oh my gosh, this horrible thing, let's see it. Yeah, and interesting enough, the easiest way to combat this culture would be to make it so that advertisers will want to go to these websites more because they're not, because those websites will be presented in a more diverse economy. The problem is many of those advertisers are being sucked up by Amazon, Facebook, and whatnot, and they're basically creating advertisement monopolies, but that's neither here nor there. The problem is that websites have now degenerated from their original purpose. The website in this case, Polygon. Presenting itself as a video game news outlet, but in reality, just a giant troll website. It is constantly just stirring up controversy where it doesn't need to be, and making accusations towards gamers, making accusations towards developers. Basically, I don't know who the site's actually for, other than that 1% of the population, probably less, that, that actually uh, appreciates the virtue signaling. Because... Websites like Kotaku, like Polygon, are constantly attacking toxic gamers. Arr! So they hate gamers, so they must be writing all these things for developers, right? Oh, this developer sucks because they're not doing this. Okay, so they hate developers. They hate gamers. Then who's this for? I guess themselves? Point is, Polygon released a article in which they basically tease the existence of Bully 2, or Canum Canis, I don't, Canis, Canum, I don't remember the PAL region name. Point is, Bully 2, rock, early Rockstar game, been a lot of references and allusions to it in other Rockstar uh, medium. That's fine. Lots of companies do that. They put Easter eggs to all their older games and newer games. But in the URL for this article, it was teased, hey, don't publish this. In other words... They were trying to make it look like uh, Bully 2 had been confirmed in development and was potentially sending out review information, but that Polygon had accidentally leaked it. And this big Twitter storm started up over the weekend and got so big that by Sunday, the writer of the article had to come out and apologize and announce, yeah, it was a joke. Sorry about that. I didn't think this was going to happen. And it's one of those things where, again, I absolutely, even if it's true, I absolutely don't believe it because Polygon's reputation is crap. This is one of those things. I can see Polygon easily doing this just to generate clicks. And when people are willing to believe something of you just because your reputation is that horrible, it really says a lot. Even if it isn't true, it really says a lot. People don't trust Polygon or any of its uh, brother or sister sites, Kotaku, uh, Rock Paper Shotgun. So, yeah, uh, I see a couple things happening here. Either one, as Polygon is claiming this writer created this title URL link all on his own as just a joke, in which case he's extremely stupid and should be publicly shamed. Uh, 50 Lashes with a Wet Noodle. Two, Polygon knew exactly what he was doing, and 
let him do it and he went is now throwing him under the bus all so that they could generate clicks therefore revenue or three uh, Polygon might be doing Rockstar a favor, so to speak. I don't know. This is I'm about to put on my tinfoil hat uh, and generate a conspiracy here. But what if Rockstar reached out to Polygon and they're like, Hey, Polygon, we are in deep crap right now with all this stuff going on with GTA Online and our casino and people hating us because we're potentially doing something immoral with our... A money laundering scheme to get money from your wallets and make you waste it in our online casino. Do us a solid, and uh, would you mind uh, uh, leaking some bully, bully, bully stuff? Bully, bully for you. Uh, so yes, complete tinfoil situation. I will never be able to prove any of this, but it seems that people have suddenly stopped talking about rock stars, GTA problems, and started talking about. Bully 2. And the uh, cult following of Bully is like, <gasps> come to the forefront and is just consuming all the rock star air and being like, we want Bully 2. So, there's my tinfoil hat theory. Completely unfounded, completely unprovable, and com probably completely wrong, but you let me know what you think. Because we all know that the truth is out there. And that if we look hard enough and ignore the rest of the facts, We'll all assume it to be true. Thanks for tuning in to Rated RPG. I'm Ray. Uh, let me know what you think of my crazy conspiracy theory in the comments down below. If you liked what you heard, please hit that like button, subscribe, notifications, etc., etc. Uh, every little bit helps. Today we hit 179 subscribers last time I checked, which is like, yay! Let's see how fast we can get to 200. And from there, a thousand. And from there, a million. And from there, we shall unseat both PewDiePie and what's that thing he was fighting against? T-Series? I don't know. Uh, let's see if we can do that within, uh, I don't know, let's say the next week. That sounds doable, right? Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Have a good night, y'all. Hey there. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell icon so you can get all the latest gaming news from Rated RPG.